So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a desk tour. I just recently got some drawers. I got the Alex drawers for my Kia, honey. My sister was coming down from Thanksgiving, for Thanksgiving, and I was like, girl, can you bring me some of them drawers? She said yes, and I sent her that money quick because <laughs> the shipping would have been like $160 or something like that because I have a makeup desk from there and I remember the shipping was outrageous. So when she came down, I could not pass up the opportunity to get me some drawers. So with that being said, I just done veered off. Let me get back on track. But with that being said, I have just spent myself into organize, organize, declutter, clean up. So that's what I've been doing. Now, I, I kind of have it where I want everything to be like, it's almost done. It's not all the way done, but it's almost done. I'm on like this kick, y'all, of just trying to get stuff together up here. I've been here for three years and I've, we've never decorated. Um, we kind of did what we were gonna do when we first moved in and, and that's how it's been since then. And surprisingly, I've been okay with it, but here recently, I'm like, uh-uh, honey, I need some change, okay? So that's what I've been doing. I've been changing stuff around. I've been getting stuff organized. And when things are organized and put up, I, I feel like I work better. You know what I'm saying? Because the desk, well, the desk that I have, I used to have like a bunch of stuff on it and it, it, it was cluttered. And so here recently, I've put all of that stuff away. I have had, I have one of those carts that sits next to me. And I just want to show you guys what I got basically. <laughs> And I thought it'd be cool too, just to show you, you know, the process of my desk too, because it, like I said, it's not done, but this is what I have now. So you'll get to see it how it is now. And then when I finish it, you'll get to see that too. So let's get into it. So here is an overview of my little area. And if I hadn't mentioned before, I booth rent with a friend of mine and we actually met in cosmetology school and we've been here ever since. But I guess I'm gonna start with all of the furniture. So I got the desk from Amazon and it's just a L-shaped desk. And I've been having it for three years and it has held up great. Now I have kind of made a mess of it this right here i spilt some super glue and pretty much that's the most damage that i have done to the desk so it held up really really well and i love to have the long length to my right because that's where i work from my right side so i really love the shape of this desk now for my chairs i got this chair from at home and i believe it was 70 dollars and when you're choosing a chair for your clients, make sure that it does not have any wheels and it does not have any handles. It will somewhat keep them still. Now, as for my chair, I got this one from Ross and it rolls and it has handles and so far so good. I just recently got it and I made the mistake of getting this one for my clients and I had to hurry up and switch it. So. I just took this one and then I went and got them that one. But when you come here and you come to the side of the desk, I have these little drawers. I have one on this side and then I have one on that side. And I got these from, where did I get these from? Oh, I got them from Michaels. And I got them a while ago and this was basically pretty much what I had all of my supplies in. I had another black dresser that I that's not here anymore but I had these two in that black dresser and that's what I had all of my stuff in but now I pretty much just have this side just for extra stuff so let's see what I have I don't have anything in that one this one I have um buffers some extra files some extra scissors let's see then I have some more files, some recording stuff, then some extra tips, and then just some swatches. So pretty much this is just extra storage here. And then I have some swatch sticks, some um, stuff for my hand, just, you know, a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. 
And on top of this, I have my price list. If you're just starting out, make you a price list and stick to it. Do you know? Do not go away from it. It's going to help you in the long run. Just set it and don't think about it twice. Set your prices and move on. Let it be that. Then I have my policy. I am very, very big on policy and I'm very strict too. So <laughs> have your policy where they can see it. I have it here and then I also have it on my website because child, I don't do no plan, okay? <laughs> People only get over you if you allow them, okay? And this right here, I got just, you know, one of those light boxes and it says nailed by Jessica. And then in front of my little policy, y'all, one of my clients just recently got me this for Christmas. Her name is Ty. Thank you, Ty. And this has my logo on it. So I just keep it there. Now, right here where the client sits, I just have a hand rest and really y'all, this is a foot rest, but I love the height. I want them up. So, you know, it's easier for me to handle them or, you know, maneuver them. So I love that. And I always just keep a towel over it. And then I have my UV LED lamps and I have one there. And then I have one here where they can just, you know, stick their hands in it without reaching over. And these sun, sun, sun UVs, I've always used them and they, they work good. They haven't failed and I'll keep buying them. And then of course, lighting. I have one, two, three lights. So this is just, you know, one of those movable ones you can get from anywhere. And then of course I have my ring light and then I have my wall mount. And I also got this from Amazon. And this really helps with, especially if you're like doing videos, but even if you're not doing videos, it really gives you direct light over, you know, the nails that you're doing so you can see. And then I have this light, just, just extra to my left side. So those are my lights. And then this is for all y'all who ask how I record my videos. This is just my Archon mount. I believe that's how you say it. And I just have it next to me on my left side. And then when I record, I put my phone in there and then boom, I'm recording. So for my Valentino, I wish I would have gotten the, the one that goes inside of the desk. You have to cut out you know, the hole to put it in there. But my husband could have did that. I wish I would have did it because just m packing this back and forth is just a, a headache. And then there's no possible way that you can keep it like from getting dirty. So I don't know, it is what it is. I've tried not to use it, but I do notice a difference when I don't use it. I start, you know, feeling kind of sick. So it actually does help with the smell and the fumes. So I'm not gonna get rid of it. And then right here, I have just um, a slab because like I said, I'm trying not to ruin the desk. So when I'm working, honey, that monomer and the colors, they just go everywhere. So I keep this and then I, I put my my liquid, my powders and everything on here. So I won't mess that, mess up my desk. And then I have my uh, e-file and it is Erica's T Protect T300 and baby, this is a powerful drill. And when I was looking up drills, they said that these drills pretty much last you forever. So that's why I got it. And I've been having it maybe for three, three, four months and it's been working good. I love it. And then right here, I just have, this is where I keep my liquid and then I keep my clear. So nothing special about that. And then for this side on this drawer, I have all of my client's files. So I keep all of those in there. Then in this one, I just have my implements. So I have cuticle pushers, nippers, you know, my French cutters. Um, what else I got in here? Some, what is these y'all? I can't even think for my cat eyes my um magnets good night i couldn't even think of what it was 
but those. And then this is just extra stuff too. These are some uh, lint-free nail wipes. I just got these off of Amazon and so far, hunty, they're no lint, so I'm liking them. And then back there, I've got some extra sanding bands. And then, I don't know what this is, but it, it found its way in there. Next drawer, I just have all of my tips that I use. I have Ballerina and then Stiletto. The, the Stiletto is my favorite. I, I, I feel like you can create any shape with Stiletto. And then in here, I just have some nail glue. This is the nail glue that I always use for my tips. KDS glue. And then I have my little square chip reader and then just some floss. If you don't have um, an X-Acto knife, you can use floss and it'll do the same thing. Next, I have just hand files. And this one I, I always keep in here to score my new hand files. So I won't cut anybody. And then of course, these are um, nail forms and then some more extra files. And then brushes and then these little soap off things. And then in here, buffers. So I need to put some buffers over there. And then the last one, I just have masks, gloves, and some mints. <laughs> All right. And like I said before, I'm not finished with how, you know, everything is going to be. I eventually want to be able to put something on this wall. And I love how, like, everybody is doing the flowers, but I don't want no pink, pink and white and all those colors no i want black and gray dark like my soul <laughs> i'm just playing y'all but that's what i want and i haven't been able to find any so i don't know i might end up trying to make some because i'm pretty crafty i think i can do it but that's what i i need to do that's on my to-do list and then i also need to get some some stuff to put my cords up under my desk so you won't see them so they won't just be out so that's another thing to do on my to-do list like I said before I work to my right so to my right I have just some paper towels my trash can and then this bin I use um, for dirty implements so when I'm working I can just boom 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 and it's done and here I have just a rolling cart I used to have a lazy susan and i had it on my desk and then i had all of this stuff on the desk and it was just too clutter for me i was like uh -uh, i need to do something so i got this little rolling cart and i just park it here and pull from it you know when i'm working so here i have in this little first row i basically just have top coats so i have my young nails which is my favorite that's my favorite top coat and then E Nail Couture, I love their shiny, it's really good. And then my hard gels for like when I'm encapsulating stuff. So I have the, the base and then the clear rubber. Then here I have just all of my bits. And then I have some hard gel. I have painting gel, white, black, white, and then this one is just um, Enel Couture's, what is it? Gummy gel, Enel Couture's gummy gel. And then my Ugly Duckling Stick It. This is what it looks like. This is what I use for my diamonds and it works very, very well. It's the only one I'll get. And then here I have just the IBD No Cleanse and I use this for Chrome. So I keep all of that here. Here I have sanding bands, hand sanitizer, lotion, and then on this end, I have just monomers. I have some of the model ones and um, my regular monomer. I have the gallon and then I just fill this up. And then this one has acetone and al alcohol and just some dapping dishes. And then here is pretty much just the same thing. I have top coats and cuticle oil, my um, prep and prime, and then my nail glue. So that's what I keep there. 
Then down here, I have all of my lint-free wipes. Then I have my buffers and brushes. Then here I have like nippers and scissors and tweezers. And then I have, oh, then I have some, oh, look at that y'all. Then I have some rings that I don't use and I need to. And then on this side, I have all of my brushes that I use and then I have my little tray. <clears throat> when I'm done with the client, I'll put some monomer in here and just a dab of acetone and I'll set my brush in there so it can clean. And then at the bottom, I just basically kind of have some refills. I have refills of my shiny, my ugly duckling, and then these are just like top coats, um, some hard gel, and pretty much that's it. Then on the other side, I have wedges for chrome, cotton balls, and then in here, I have my glasses and then just some brushes. So that's what I have here on my desk. And then if you turn around, behind me is my little, where all of my basically powders and art is. So at the top, I have these two um, nail polish racks and I just house my glitters here and I try to put them like color, color coordinated, but sometimes I get so busy, I'll just throw stuff there. But pretty much that's all of my craft glitters. Like I said before, I love just using uh, raw glitter instead of like acrylic powders. So I, I'd rather get me some of those, honey, than, than the other ones. But I love that rack, just all those pretty glitters. And then some gel polish, which y'all, I never really use gel polish every once in a while, but not, not very often. Here, I just got some of the nail attic polishes. So I'm gonna be doing a video on these and testing them out and showing you guys how I do my gel polish application. Then on top of my desk, I have just some decorations. I have just some Christmas trees. I'm about to take that down, honey, cause Christmas is over, okay? But I have some Christmas trees and then I have just a little J. And then I have this, isn't this so cute, y'all? Uh, a lady doing some nails. And I got both of these from my friend, Rita. She got those for me. And then I got just a little sign that says, do what makes you happy. And back here I have just a mirror and it's Bluetooth. I'll play my music. It has lights and all of that stuff. But I keep this y'all because <laughs> it gets so dusty. I'm not even lying to y'all. And I'll look up and I will have a face full of dust. And ain't nobody told me nothing. <laughs> so I keep this mirror close so I can see it and honey, get myself together, honey. They, they ain't gonna be able to laugh at me, child. But yeah, that's why I keep that there. And then here I have just my, uh, all of my stamping polishes. So I keep some uh, polish thinner because these dry out really quick. And if you put just a little dab in there, it'll bring them back to life. And then these ones are some gel stamping polishes. And I used them, used it once and it worked okay, but I'm still not sold on it. And then here are just some extra gel polishes and then here I have just stuff that I need to put up and I have yet to put these up because I want to get a new case because the one that I have is just tore up from the floor up and I'm like I'm not even going to touch this until I get a new one and then I have an acrylic powder that I need to swatch and I won't put my powders up until I have them swatched and in my swatches so that's why this is sitting here. Okay, to start with my drawers. Okay, so the first drawer is basically just all nudes. So all of these are Valentino. And then I have Young Nails. Uh, these ones are Sugar and Cream, Glow in the Dark, just all kinds. I have, have a little bit of everything. Here's my favorite white out the door by i and m and I, I love this white i'll continue to buy this and then here is just some of my um nudes so like glam and glitz not polish just a bunch of them 
Next is my pink, pink and purple drawer. So pretty much all of my powders are glam and glitz. <laughs> I, I love them y'all. They just have so many different varieties and I'll just keep buying them. But I have glam and glitz. Let's see what else I have. Uh, here's a Tammy Taylor organic nails. I have a lot of these little uh, ones. They have the collection. Look how pretty this color is, y'all. This is from um, Model Ones. They, I'm telling you, they have some really cute colors. Let's see what number that is. But look how pretty that is. So Model Ones. I have some Creation. I have these ones that I had got from Mexico for my client. And yeah. And before, like I said, I had everything up in a rack. And then I had a lot of these these powders these miscellaneous ones just in another drawer and now that i have them like this where i can see them i'm i'm more likely to use them like i'm pulling stuff that i hadn't used before so i really like the way this is set up and underneath this y'all i just have some mesh so all of these won't roll around next drawer we've got blue greens yellows and oranges so same thing i pretty much have all of the same brands this one is what is this i think it's called oh chisel pretty green and then this one is eye gel beauty i don't think i've used this one yet but I saw this brand and I wanted to try it. So I have yet to try it though. So we'll see. But there's that drawer. Next, reds, maroons, silvers, browns, and then golds. Here recently I have upped my little chocolate situation because it, it was a trend here for a minute with all of the chocolates. So I got me a bunch of chocolates. And then, look, look, before I even open this, y'all, <laughs> every house has a junk drawer, okay? Ain't no different when I'm up here, child. Ooh, look at that. Good night. Somebody send help. Listen, I'm going to get this in order. I haven't done it yet, but... I'm kind of dreading it because all of this stuff, I'm just like, oh my Lord, what am I going to do with all of this stuff? I buy it and then I don't use it, but then I'm like, well, I don't want to throw it away because I, I might use it. So I've got pencil, I've got caviar beads. These are from Michael's. In here, I've got some glitter, some stickers. Some of that little mesh. I use a lot of this though. What else I got? I got some glitters that I haven't even opened. And then I've got, oh, these glitters though. These are from Magpie. Chow. Ooh, wee. Latoya. These little chameleon glitters are everything. When I first got them, I was putting them in everybody. I was like, oh, you want some glitter? I got some for you. Boom. So I love these ones. Look at that. Let me show y'all one more. Cause child. Ooh, look at that. Who is this? Kylie? Okay, Kylie. Yes, love it. So we gonna close that. Don't we ain't gonna worry about that one. And then my last drawer is basically like iridescent. All of these are from Nail Supply Glamour. So these ones are from Secret Nail Affair and her glitters are the bomb. If I could, and which I'm probably going to, I'm just gonna buy all of her glitters because every single one of these glitters are like popping. I ain't even lying, honey, get you some. And then I've got a few glitter bells and th their glitters are pretty good. I like them. And then some from Sugar and Cream. I like their stuff. They're kind of, um, I think, expensive for some of their stuff, but it's still still good, good quality. 
And then here I have just some loose like tinsel. And then here is just a bunch of chromes. And then here, y'all know I've had this in my haul, these little glitters. Look how pretty those are. Mm -hmm. Keep me a bunch of them, honey, I ain't playing. And then the, it, these are these two depotted. I just put them all in here. And, and they got some flakes in there too. So for the next side, I keep my uh, towels that I use to wipe off my brush. And these are the hands down plastic back towels. I really love these. And then here I have, these are all just dried flowers. And then look at this, just a, this is from um, Magpie. Yeah, Magpie, just some foil. But look how pretty that foil is. Then I've got just my little, um, my little thing, my little leaf from AliExpress. I use it too, honey. And so far, look, it's holding up. It's doing really good, so. And then a little spoon, just some little miscellaneous nail art. My next drawer, I have all of my swatches. And then I just have some hard gels. I have Light Elegance. I really like I really like Light Elegance. Their quality is so good. Show y'all what Light Elegance. This is what I'm talking about with Light Elegance. Their gel is, I mean, just pure perfection. I love all of their glitter gel. It has so much glitter in it. You're not gonna apply this and not get good coverage. So when I buy gels, I, I love to buy these ones. I always go and like look at their site and see if they have anything that I like. That's so pretty. That one's called the Elvis, Elvis Pelvis. Hey, Elvis Pelvis, hunty. And then I have some cat eyes. And then I believe this is C and D, just some hard gel. And then these are the leaf gels from who was this from? They used to be like all of the rage, honey. Vitro, that's who it's from, Vitro. These used to be popping. I really don't use them anymore, but I need to. Look how pretty that is. Ooh, chow. Cute. In this drawer, I just have some nail art. So I have all of my foils. And I have quite a bit of these little boxes. And then here I have just some photo albums of basically like foils, some LV, some LV stickers, some of those little gold stickers, some butterflies. Oh shoot, look, something ain't put up. Frankenstein, what are you doing out, sir? And then just like a bunch of miscellaneous little stickers now this one oh, let me take that this is the one i got y'all that i was telling y'all look at that i i'm not going to next time i get one i'm not going to get the one that has like all these binders and these because this tears so easily i want to get the ones that is like this but a bigger size because look at this i got all of this stuff in here and it is just, look at that, toe up from the flow up, honey. So I'm gonna take all of these out the packaging. I'm gonna get like multiple books and I'm gonna put put them all in here like, mm -mm, cause this ain't, this ain't working for me, look at that. So yeah, that's why I hadn't put any of those up because this is just already such a mess. So leave that up there. And then next drawer, was that one next? Oh, I skipped a drawer, hold on y'all. The next for this nail art, I have some some inks, my striping tape, my sharpies, some pigments, my foil that I get from Michaels. Keep it in a in a big bag, honey, because I ain't never gonna run out. And then here I've got just like some Christmas charms that I was using. On this side, I have let's see some hearts, some foil, my Mickey Mouses. I think these are like stars and hearts, all kinds of stuff. And then more foil. Then I got some neon butterflies. 
And then I think these are all of my leaves. So I've got a few of these with some leaves. And then this is just like some miscellaneous wheels. And then here, let's see. What's that in here? Some hearts and stars, some stars, and just, you know, little miscellaneous stuff. I've got some more leaves back there. Then, let me see. This. And then here I've got, let's see, some butterflies, some hearts, some little circles, those litters I got from AliExpress, and then some fruit slices. So that's what I got in that drawer. Next is my stamping drawer. I love my little stamping. I got just some gel polishes here, but here I keep like my, my clear jelly stamper and then I have some other stampers, all the clear ones. And this is like the old school one. I don't even know why I still have this. But this is how they used to stamp. And baby, you would have to try to guess where to put that booger. And that wasn't working, honey. And then, let's see, all of my scrapers. So that's what's in there. Some lint rollers. And then all of my stamping plates. Most of them are from Claire Jelly Stamper. And then I got some Moira plates. And then these ones are like just all miscellaneous like um that i got from amazon or i'm sure there's a, a lot of clear jelly in there too because i love me some clear jelly and then my last drawer is my bling drawer my diamonds honey. so all of these um are my diamonds that i just put in these little cases y'all seen me do that before these ones are ones that i need to put up or just like these little, I don't know why I've got these, y'all. <laughs> but I got them. So those are those. My little pixies. And then here's some charms in here. I use a lot of charms. I just used some today. And then all of these little charms. hearts and crosses and arrows all of that good stuff all of my like colored diamonds are in there and i use um the crystal katana it's time for me to get a new one this one i have had for a very long time and this little one this is the one i reach for the most and it has like my ab's in different sizes all the different sizes so I keep, I always pull from that one. And then, you know, just charms, all of that good stuff. And then this one, let me see. This one's got my big diamonds in it. Open it without spilling it. But those are like my big diamonds. Yes. All right. That is the end of my desk tour. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in another video. Bye.